capacities. They're calling it the studio for your mind. Today, we're going to review the note-taking application capacities and whether it's a bet for you. Now, you may have found capacities through our more recent video, three new note-taking applications. Today, we're going to go a little bit deeper in what it offers and what it presents here on Keep Productive. So, if you're looking at capacities, it presents an interesting setup that looks very much like Notion, but much more towards personal daily note-taking. And it has a few features that I think are desirable and presents an interesting option if you're looking for that blend between advanced PKM and a good personal note-taking application. So let's start with the features. Now, Capacities offers an interesting take on note-taking and productivity, something called object-based note-taking, which they believe to be more modern and a much better approach to note-taking. And it essentially means that every time you create something in Capacities, it's built on an object, like a book, or maybe even a person, or a type of something. It's associating anything you add in there to being something that's already created. And that comes along with properties. So for example, a book could come with prop book properties uh, like ISBN number, um, details about the book, author, etc., and giving you a little bit of structure that you would previously had to create inside of Notion if you weren't using a template. So alongside that, they also have good daily notes abilities allowing you to take daily notes connect up certain things you've done using a graph, and also go into a much richer detail when creating pages and also linking them up, which is something that I don't think you get as much of inside of apps like Notion. Now it's difficult to compare this because Notion has much more features, but it feels like they're trying to go after this market. The object-based Note-taking is a very interesting approach and something that I think a lot of people will like. Now they do have a free plan with unlimited spaces blocks and naturally that's a good solution, but they do have a $12 per month pricing, which is much more towards the Rome research pricing, much more expensive. That gives you much more abilities like task management, annotations with images, and much more with customizable views too. So right now, they're currently only web only with a desktop app coming in 2023. They don't have any plans for mobile apps in the short term, but it is planned for 2023. They're currently a fairly small team based in Europe, and I was able to chat with Team Club weeks ago, and it seems interesting what they're actually trying to build here with this note-taking experience. Now, who is this best for? This is early days in an application, but this is best for those who are taking personal notes and want to be able to have form of structure around their notes. And they don't want to have to learn maybe complex uh, templates or building of different applications that you win something like Notion. So this is great for those who don't want an advanced PKM tool, but also want the structure of a note-taking application with a bit more freedom. So that's for those people. And currently I'm giving this application a four out of five, an interesting and fresh take on note-taking that seems like it potentially has a future and an interesting design background. So hopefully you liked this review of capacities. If you want to learn more about it, we have it over on Toolfinder. And if you're looking for a note-taking application that you want to stick with, then you can find our full list of note-taking applications in the link in the description. Thank you very much for stopping by folks. And I hope you enjoyed our review of capacities in this video. Cheerio guys.